<clears throat> Today's question is quite uh, broad, I would think, but it's not an easily answered one. How do we know the Bible is the Word of God and not just man-made? Mm -hmm. um, I think we'd, we'd agree. I think that it is both the Word of God <coughs> and yet it's come to us through human authors. Mm. We'd kind of agree with that. And there's, there's two... There's one way of answering the question, um, which, I mean, you can turn to the Bible itself. Um, there's loads of places in the Old Testament. Um, Psalm 119 is where you'd go, I guess, to get anything on the, on the Word. Mm. And there's, there's statements in there like, um, forever, O Lord, your Word is firmly fixed in the heavens, which the psalmist, the Old Testament saints, seem to be happy with this notion that the Bible is the Word of God, as well as having been written by, by men. But you come into the New Testament and you, you find them speaking about the Old Testament. So, um, Timothy and Paul in, in Timothy does. So, in 2 Timothy 3.16, he says, All Scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. So, he's got all Scripture is, is God's. It's been breathed sure, out by Him. Sure, sure. And I suppose Peter's the next one that you That's right. <coughs> That's where I'd go next, where he, he speaks about the nobody just wrote Scripture according to their own will, but they're carried along by, by the, the Spirit. Spirit. So those, those would be the two texts. But I guess the argument that would come back on that, so the, the Bible's self-attesting. Mm -hmm. And I would say it is. But then I'd kind of follow that up with the notion that before I knew either the text in Second. Uh, Timothy or the text in Peter, mm -hmm. I still believe the Bible was the Word of God um, Interesting. before I knew the texts. Interesting. Yeah. And yeah. you look at church history and, and how lots of people have asked that question, because it is a good question to ask if, mm. if we're saying mm. this is the Word of God, but oh, how do you know? Absolutely. But before I read the text, I, I knew that it was almost as soon as I was converted, this is God's Word. Yep. And the only explanation people have come up with is that's the spirit in the believer testifying to the fact this is God's Word. So you just yep. know that you know that you know. You're absolutely right. <clears throat> in fact, really, Kenny, that you've just hit the nail on the head. And may I just back that up with the fact that <clears throat> um, having the Bible attest to its own truth is not just enough always for people. Yeah. But like you say, the, the, the person who is not a believer or even who is uh, seeking sometimes, th they can't be sure of the Word. They probably don't even want to be bothered with it. I yeah. wasn't before, like yourself. I wasn't bothered with it. In fact, it wasn't an issue for me. I never heard it. I never listened to it, and I never wanted it. Um, but when Jesus came into my heart, then the Word of God <clears throat> became real to me, and I read it, and I understood it. And that, of yeah. course, is the Spirit of God within us, isn't it? It's part of that whole awakening, isn't it? The whole new birth, that there's, there's certain things you yep. see and you recognize that you never did before. Well, that you recognize that it's truth. Yeah. And, and the fact that <clears throat> Jesus is connected to the Word in some other kind of way than what we always thought, you yeah. know, or, or didn't think, <laughs> yeah. depending. Um, I think that's the only way you can answer that, and, and really it's the experience of Christ yeah. with, within <clears throat> that actually brings the Word alive to us, and the Scripture tells us that, of course. And I guess, the, I guess it's slightly a different way to go in, in regard to the question, but the more the years that I've been reading this, I'm assuming it will be the same for you, you just see that it actually makes sense. sense. Yep. And, and it's right, you know, which yep. you just <clears throat> think, okay, and... It, it just adds up, and it seems the self-attesting has proved true over the course of time. Yes. As you go through your life, you see that the reality and the truth that's lying within it concerning our sinfulness, our being, our relationship to God or not, and yeah. our, God's relationship to us yep. and everything in it. So, good. So that would be how I'd answer that question. Well, I hope so. <laughs> if not, I hope there's another question.